Hey guys, uh, I'm working on the Gmate R1 here and apologize me for the mess. That's one of the biggest advantages, I think, of being single. I can make all the mess in the world on my dining table and there's nobody who gets upset about it or tells me to clean up a bit. I will clean up in a few days uh, as soon as my children come to visit me again, to uh, they spend, uh, they live uh, one week with me and one week with their mother. Um, uh, I'm working on the G-Mate, as I said uh, just a minute ago. Um, and I told you uh, in my plans that I'm thinking about putting s a couple of l uh, lights on the G-Mate because I'm crazy about lights. Maybe even a spoiler. I did find a spoiler already. I'm not sure if I'm gonna uh, 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 place it, put it on the, the R1. Maybe I will do a test fit to, to see how it looks. Um, and I was wondering about the lights. Uh, uh, at first, I had planned to do to pu uh, put the lights beneath this uh, l link. But I, think, but I watched some videos on YouTube of those rock racers in Utah, Moab, and uh, uh, lots of other places. And I saw that a couple of the, some guys have the lights uh, behind the passenger cabin, so over here. Uh, and okay, so I have I have some pieces of Lexar. Maybe you do recognize this piece for, for those who have we have built a Rubicon. This is the 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 back side of the uh, Rubicon, which I chopped off. Uh, so so this is a leftover. Um, <clears throat> and to put it uh, to to good use, I already took some measurements because to measure is to know. And this is, as you can see, yes, yeah, yeah, very clear. Good camera. Thank you. These lines are the width of the roof section and this is the length plus just a little bit, uh, uh, a quarter of an inch uh, in American metric system because it has to fall over this link here. And then it goes down just about how much will it be, maybe an inch even. and. Those two angel eyes, which I have, will be positioned um, one there and one there. At least, for now, that's the idea. So I'm going to make this, make a test fit. And I'm going to do the, the same idea with another piece of flex, which I have for the front. So it will bend down here cover this uh, section. Um, I'm thinking about mounting the ESC because that's one of the biggest disadvantages uh, uh, of the G G Mate R1. I watched uh, Squirrel a lot who did an, uh, an honest review and his um, he chose uh, the Wraith as his first car. The Wraith and the R1, they say they are can be compared to one another, uh, and he, he um, ch chose the, uh, the raid at his, R, at his first choice of car uh, because the, the raid had more options and he is right there. Uh, the the R-Ground doesn't have too much space because in there goes already the motor, the, it, it's, it's, it has a little, very little working space. Uh, behind the motor also isn't any room that goes the battery plate which I took out the, I'm making another one uh, I also noticed that uh, I can gain just a little bit uh, lowering the center of gravity by uh, flipping the battery plate upside down and also for this plate bracket where the receiver goes um, that lowers it just a bit but really just a bit but it's all uh, um, 
is winning just bits and lowering the center of gravity bits by bits. I'm not gonna run a heavy lipos. Uh, I do have a lot of 5000 ma plus, even a bit heavier lipos. Um, I ordered some smaller, which are normally for helicopters. And they will fit nicely in here. They are about 1500 ma, well I guess. Uh, I ordered two of those, I think they will do. They, uh, they will give me a run time of I guess half an hour or so. Um, that's a matter of trail and error. So, uh, but I'm going to, I think I'm going to mount the ESC underneath here. Uh, let's say it's the hood. The, the engine bonnet is called? Engine bonnet? No? Um, so, work in progress as you see. Now, this is going to be the general idea. This is how it should look. It has to be fine-tuned as a bit and I made some small circles there. Maybe you can see them up close where the lights should be or how intended to go. That way I also keep the, 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 the wiring of the lights nice and tidy and cleaned up beneath the roof. Okay, I've been working uh, on the front, I've been cutting some legs on and I'm going to zoom it in a little bit slow, yes, not too wild. This is roughly, very roughly, um, this is not going to replace the original part, piece of Lexan, it's going underneath there, I think. Um, because because on, for the simple reason that, that I do not have enough, but when it is re ready, you will not see that it is that it are two pieces. I'm just fiddling along here, it isn't rocket uh, science, so I'm just uh, being creative. Uh, but as you can see, and if I turn it, 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 it this isn't bent n nicely, it, it was pre-curved, it was a section, a uh, piece of legs on it, which I still had for, from the previous project. Now, so I'm now I'm going to, uh, to my barn, uh, my shed, uh, um, where, the, where the mess is even bigger than it is here on the table. Uh, I'm going to take my, I'm going to take my heating gun. And this consumes a lot of power, but it gets uh, really, really warm. And I'm going to try, try to, to, to bend this into a more uh, nicer curve. I found this piece of iron, and the intention is to bend it along because this has a nice curve in it. And I think judging it. it, it, it is roughly the same rounding curve as this link. Now, okay, we are in the barn. Uh, so, as I said, the, where the mess is even bigger. Uh, I have the legs on and the uh, squeeze, squeeze together tightly, tightly, not too hard. Maybe you can hear, but outside we have a storm. Uh, we had a heat wave for a couple of days and now it's storming and raining all the time. So uh, I have a piece of paper in between here, so uh, I hope I will not damage the legs on. Uh, I have a piece of wood to, to press it down, and keep it when it's soft, keep it in a position for, for a couple of seconds. I was told that this, uh, I heard or I saw on YouTube that it would only take a couple of seconds. So we will start with a gentle. Not too wild, to the temperature. Because the heat blower has three positions, uh, at the highest position it will burn the paper, I guess. I melted the protection layer of the legs arm of there. Mm, okay. 
Now guys, previously, um, in when I was unveiling the plans for this G-Mate R1, I was telling that I would stick to the Bighorn tires, these G-Mate Bighorn. And this morning I was taking more, uh, I was taking more of the bead locks and I was giving them a little feel, giving them a little rubbing, and they just don't feel, mm, it doesn't make me happy. Um, and I was, uh, then I was contemplating uh, big horn. Well, we all happen. Uh, we all know what happened with General Costa and um, uh, Sitting Bull. That in that didn't end too well. So, what's in the name? Um, so I was th thinking from about do I have a little budget left? To get some other tires and 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 for, for example, Rock Beast, that's a name. Super Swamper, mm, that's a name. And I was looking on some uh, forums uh, which I visit from a, a regular basis, and uh, there was some guys there, and they were really convinced of the Hot Bodies Sedonas. Let's say that again. Hot bodies, Sedonas. Mm, just a name. So we're all too bad. I got crazy. Um, they will be a little bit bigger in diameter. Maybe a quarter of an inch. Not much. Giving me that edge, little extra edge in ground clearance. Um, <clears throat> but most guys said do these these uh, Sedonas oh, what's in the name uh, are really some really nice gri grippy all round crawler tires so um, looking forward to getting these because I had a pretty sweet deal uh, it must be karma uh, I was looking on the internet uh, how about these uh, Sedonas and over here and Neighbors, Germany. Uh, they had a special offer and a, a really nice price. Uh, low, sh and low shipping costs, so I ordered them. And uh, maybe I will uh, smoke some cigarettes less so I can pay for these hot bodies, Sedonas. Stay tuned. Now, guys, just to show you. Um, how far I am. This is, it's all not uh, mounted yet, but this is becoming a bit of the general idea. I've covered this with uh, carbon. It's a, it's a huge, I bought this on the internet. I also, because I got it for the, for the Prius, and I think I thought it might look good on this car as well. The roof section. Which I turn around, and here's some space for those two uh, sp small angel eyes, lights, LEDs. Next part is I'm going to do this section, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to extend it so that this piece here is also covered. I think it might look a little bit uh, better, uh, more different. This will also be a car carbon look, um, and I got some of these uh, with angel wings, which you see on all of my cars, um, which are my trademark, so to speak. Um, so some friends say that they always recognize one of my cars because on all my, because on all of my cars I have these angel wings. So. Um, don't ask me where, uh, why I use angel wings, I just like them and I think, well, it makes it more my cars. I have them on Rubicon, I have them on Ray, I have them on G6, I have them on the Prius, I even had them in the past on the Slash, uh, and now I'm going to put them also on this car. Um, so, that's the status so far. Up to the body panels.